Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more blind gaming. Today we're playing Dark Souls 3 for the PC, of course. We're on part 29 of our series. Hooray! We are playing our Ultra Tank. We're in the, well, we're beneath, we're still in the zone. Uh, the Smoldering Lake. Looks like the Catacombs of Carthus. It is part of the zone, but it's remodeled to have, you know, these ember vines. So without further ado, let's do this. Last video we cleared up the whole top level, so I that's why I reset the bonfire. We're gonna have to kill the enemies again, but at least we don't have to worry about uh, any of the upper level. I just don't remember what ways I went. Uh, didn't catch the last video. Those guys, their guard is impossible to break. You have to straight up go around them. I hear ya. goes up too, but we don't need to go up anymore. And they drop all these Titanite. Yeah, one of the pluses about being a tank is uh, these guys. A lot of these weird, like, demonic stone statues, which I don't know if they were alive and it's just a representation, like, they're just piled up. It's really weird. We're going the right way, though. Alright, there's a secret wall here with the Black Knight. I think he kills the guy in there for us. Utterly destroyed me when I was doing my dual wield, uh, but we came back and killed him. Not easily. I yeah, got another sword there. That's it. So there's that. Continuing on. Can you those blobs on the ceiling? This is the fire room. Sorry, Nick cough. This room is absolutely awful. That's why this room is bad, because there was 
two of them. I think there's another something over here. Oh, up there, there's some more fire guys. That's what you're hearing. You guys have watched you know that I, I actually like to kill everything so you guys can see yeah 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 somebody's somebody's doing it so this is an unjumpable thing that'll drop you down there don't worry we'll go around actually I think this is a room with a no maybe not I don't know half the time anymore that goes upstairs and that's pretty brutal up there too I think we actually need to go up there Let's see what's down here. Another secret wall. It takes us across this other side. There's a really cool looking spider here. It's another tome. And down here, this is the lava pet. <clears throat> One of two. And there's some items. I'm not even going to waste my time. Um, they may be handy for you. Look them up what they are. Uh, but as a DPS character, I went back and looked, and it, it was literally no weapons or armor or anything. It was just items. Let's see. Yes. This is the other way. Another hole with the lava pit. We're not even going to try to traverse it. Alright, this is actually the way we really need to go. So, uh, we're going to go back and we're going to go up in that fire room. We're going to go up instead and see where that takes us. Cause I can't remember. It could just be backtracking. Shit. Wait, where are we? Yes. But I can't remember. Often. I didn't want to do that on microphone. OK, 
okay, where the hell did he go? And is he gonna just jump out and kill me? Oh, he's dead. He must have fell through the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so this might actually be the beginning. This stairwell is. And there was a second one over here. Let's just make sure it's the same case. It is. So, yeah, we were going the right way. Cool. Okay, made my way back down. A couple ways to go. Pretty sure we'll kill this guy. There's a secret wall. Just swing your way through them. It'll die pretty easy. And there's a nice staff for those of you that are into that. Alright, now this is a room of frogs. Just be careful, you'll be alright. one that we'd already uh, come up, or we already passed it. Now we're moving on. Alright, so we can go up, or we can go over here. I'm going to show you guys what's up here first. Um, actually, no, let's go down. Barnacles and tree roots. And what the hell was that? Human skulls, apparently. So this is where you get the fume ultra great sword. Oh my god. Too bad, he's got a great shield. And you get both, so for all I know that great shield's better than the one I got. I'm gonna assume, being the point of the game we're at, we're not toward the end yet, but uh, um, he's got the best ultra great sword in the game right there. So there's a couple other items, one there, one there. You can uh, power through it and just drink, unless you don't have a lot of health like me then uh, you might need fire resistance items, fire resistance gear as well. But uh, like I said, they're items, they're probably spellcasters really need that stuff. And um, yeah, so 
nothing else down here. I just thought you guys would want to see that. Okay, now we got our other black knight it's across the bridge. This guy's going to be more interesting because it's on a bridge, and we're going to fight him on the bridge. Excuse me again. Um, the reason we're... The whole point of this area is we need to make our way back to, to find the trebuchet and actually turn it off, and then you can drop down and get the items. There's a, a secret hidden uh, hallway down there and all that lovely stuff. And that, if you fall off this, it's, you know, death. And that's where we were with the few night. So without further ado, let's do this. time either so I, I think he just doesn't drop any any items he's guarding a large soul cluster and now we're moving into the area where the trebuchet is big ass ladder one of the biggest okay I figured I'd cut part of the ladder in to give you the feel like it's you know really big and then a second ladder and we're going up because that trebuchet is way up on the top of the smoldering lake. So I'm going to make this video, um, you know, around the 20 minute mark, I think, just to include it. There's going to be a skeleton squad coming up we're going to have to kill. Here we go. Oh, here's one of them. charge on our Estus. Um, they're still not the problem. There's another skeleton squad, and they're the ones with the uh, the rings. You know, the one that makes you invisible that we found. They got the two-handed swords and everything. Let's see if you guys come back to life. one. I see them just shred me. And I'm, I am decked out and heavy. I guess that's a bleed right now that's on me. And looky, looky what we got there. Look at that thing. Those are the arrows that were coming at us. And I think the lore is the giants wheel descent to defend uh, this area. It's 
it's off. I think, yeah, you got some dead giants down here. So what we're going to do next video is uh, we're going to go down there and clear out. There's a lot of big crabs, so I'm just going to save that for that. And then we are going to fight the boss of the area. So yeah, we could have fought the boss right away. Um, but there's so much stuff in this place that you don't want to miss out on it. You really don't. And let's see here. So yeah, anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. And I hope to see you guys next video as we continue on on our tank build. But until next time, guys, as always, 